So we got so, bugs, tequila, and garlic. I am, yeah, I'm sure. on board with at least two out of the three. What is Spanish for I will regret this later? Most of the time, thanks to modern technology, we get straight to our destinations without ever getting lost. But sometimes it's those off-roads and detours where the real adventures can be found. My name is Harrison Greenbaum, and on behalf of United States Tour Operators Association, really, come on, just let me, no, stop, stop following me, no, 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 yes, no, oh, yeah, yeah, ha. This is Recalculating. Recalculating. Welcome to Mexico City, La Ciudad de Mexico. Bienvenidos. I'm currently in the middle of La Plaza de la Constitución, or just commonly referred to around here, Zocalo. This is kind of like Times Square minus the people and the lights and the time. So it's just it basically the, the, the square. It's a, it's a square. Turns out the Mexico City subway system is the only subway system without a mariachi band. Mexico City is the largest metropolitan area in the entire Western Hemisphere. It's built on Lake Texcoco, which means it's literally sinking, unlike Washington, D.C., which is only metaphorically. Mexico City has a lot of nicknames. City of Hope, City of Palaces, and City of, oh no, I got really drunk in Cancun and I'm really far and I don't know where I am right now, and where are my pants? In Mexico City, if you ask people if they use Grindr, they just point you to these guys. Mexico City was founded by the Aztecs, so like USTOA tour operators, I'm gonna take advantage of some special insider knowledge to find a restaurant that has been specializing in pre-Hispanic Aztec cuisine since 1929. For almost 100 years, restaurant Bart Sean has been serving up things like iguana, mosquito egg pancakes, and chapolinas, or crickets. I'm very excited to try it out, so let's go inside. Well, hola. It's a pleasure to meet you. Es un yeah. placer, Eduardo. Nice to meet you, man. The specialty of the restaurant is Aztec cuisine. It's Azteca, it's Mayans. They were astrologists, and actually, I'm sure they got a really good uh, uh, relation with uh, people from, from the sky, you know? Gotcha. So the U.S. is fighting over illegal aliens, and here we're talking about actual aliens. Yeah, no, I think no, that's no, much sure. better. I am starving, and I am I could not be more excited to try all of these different things. So it, would it be cool if you check out the kitchen and see how this is all being prepared? Yeah, sure. So we got bugs, tequila, and garlic. I am yeah, sure. I'm on board with at least two out of the three. It's great because my girlfriend has always wanted me to cook for her. So I think if I cook this for her, she'll never ask me to cook for her again. So I'm very excited about this. We're gonna make some mosquito egg pancakes. We have mosquito eggs, we have onion, we have celery. This is how the Disney movie A Bug's Life actually ends. The griddle, the smells are good. My eyes are watering a little bit from the onions. I swear it's not me crying because I have to eat this. Time to sit down and conquer two challenges, eating all the food and keeping Eduardo sober. I might only succeed at one of those challenges. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. My biggest fear in life is mice, so this is probably yeah. good because the mouse is no longer wow. with us. Really healthy, really healthy. It tastes like a chicken that's been working out a lot. Crocodile yeah, tail. Yeah, yeah. Taste it. Uh... Mm. This has been my favorite so far. The good thing is if I do vomit, it's like negative calories. Oh, do you hear that? That's the sound of USTOA having to give me a raise. Iguana. I'm gonna be honest, this tastes like iguana. All right, here we go. What is Spanish for I will regret this later? <laughs> it's time to get a pulque. Yes, the pulque. When I'm looking for something to wash down the maggots, nothing quite hits the spot like Very the pineapple nice. blood of the gods. Mmm. Oh, you finished yours. Oh, I didn't even, I could finish mine. Here we go. Quick USTOA insider knowledge. Even though Eduardo might tell you the pulque doesn't have alcohol, it actually has a ton of alcohol. Got it. Let's try the chapolinas next, is that okay? Okay, man. You got crickets. Those look like peanuts. So you have the biggest and best crickets in all of Mexico. A lot of times guys will tell you they're the biggest, but they're usually exaggerating a little bit. Okay. Can you do it? That is very crunchy. I'm gonna switch out somebody's Chex Mix with this and just see what happens. Mosquito egg pancake. Many shots of mezcal in. Yeah, that's not too much. That's, you just saved me. You're out drinking me, but I'm gonna out eat you. Here we go. Check it out. It's gonna be perfect. Wow. 
dog was so much. Well, I'm gonna feel that tomorrow. My brain got you. <laughs> Eduardo, thank you so much, mi hermano, my brother, for taking me through this journey, an insider's look into Aztec cuisine. Harrison, this is your house. This is I your will hold you to house. that. And that's Mexico City. I've had a lot of crazy taste today, and you have had a taste of the colorful history and unique culture that only a USTOA tour operator can provide. My name is Harrison Greenbaum, and this has been Recalculating.